Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 53 of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the previous episode, we started off by picking up our next stage cup robbery in Rhodes. In fact, it was the last one, but it also gave us an opportunity to work on our fourth rank of weapons expert, which was to kill 10 enemies using crafted shotgun ammo. We did that and also advanced a bit on the fifth level as well, fighting into Saint Denis. We picked up a new outfit, we went on a couple of random events, including one where we had to clear out the saloon of rats, and picked up the vast majority of the cigarette cards that are all around. But upon leaving, we managed to get, I don't know why this is come back with a, that was not crossed out, but we did get it. Um, but we managed to get that fish, the legendary uh, leek sturgeon, I think it was, picked up the... Uh, broken pirate sword from this little island over here and then uh, drops the fish off back with Jeremy Gill. So uh, before we crack on with this episode I did manage to do a bit of off-screen work. I managed to bring in three moose pelts to the trapper, uh, five muskrat pats to the pats, <laughs> pelts to the trapper and also worked on my gambler bandit and weapons expert challenges. So I'll work on that compilation here I'll see you when we're done. Let's have some fun. This is too easy. I'm taking what's left of my fingers and getting out of here. Good fun. Thank you. Easy, easy. Okay, so my main plan for today is we're going to move into this next mission with Micah, which is Blessed Other Peacemakers. But after we do that, you might see I've got a location mount up here, which are the uh, Wapiti Indian Reservation. This is where you get the Dynamite Arrow Pamphlet, which is the last Arrow Pamphlet we don't currently have, which will allow me to craft all of them needed for the fourth rank of Survivalist, which we are well behind on that particular challenge strand compared to the rest of them, so I want to get that done. So that's going to be my next port of call. But first of all, Let's go and speak to this bastard. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. Hey. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys. Send me the dick. The town. Well, I'm Pearson. Things are about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. Anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, <laughs> Combe O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of <sighs> course, it's probably Thank a you. trap. Thank you, Admiral Akbar. we got to lose finding out. Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take. Definitely I a trap. Holmes' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed. A woman I love dear. Mm. As you say, it's 
a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Okay. This might be another case of a mission that takes up an entire episode. I can't quite remember. I have seen this mission been done before. I know what happens in it uh, because. Let's go then. Uh, obviously, I'm a little bit behind the story where Ron is, so I remember him doing it. And I seem to have a vague memory of this one being a longer one, a bit like the Sodom Back to Gamora, but it might not be. So, if we don't manage to get to the PT reservation you know, today, we'll do it in the next I've been episode. Comb for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his Ooh. private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. I'm not sure I completely trust this. I mean, Mike is not exactly clear. Not exactly, not exactly got a reputable background, has he? Up there, men on the ridge. Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just, I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, caring too much. <laughs> That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. Not a chance, Mike. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. He is full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. Probably him too. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. I mean, but it's worth trying. I can't really comment, but... It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. I'll try. All I ask is you try. Okay, better be getting close now, surely. I mean, we saw the Odriscolls moments ago. Right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Gotta get a good eye for this situation. Hold up. It's an eagle, I think. Oh dear. What's that? It's 
thought it was dead. Alright, there's Dutch, there's Micah. Can't see any O'Driscolls. There they go. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. You have very good hearing. Sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh. No. Yep. Yeah. It was a trap. Good call, Jose. <laughs> of course it was. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna get yours. You are so gonna get yours. Callum got a sense. Uh, handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of oh. them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. I feel this is not gonna work out. Ooh. Ooh. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> Is not looking good for you, Arthur. Oh, you got some miracle tonic. Oh. <laughs> Run someone's horse. Can I, uh, can I try and get off? No. Done passed out. Oh dear. Put his weapons over there. This is not what I call a good time. This is all the makings of a bad situation. Oh, I'm going to stab some folks. Driscoll. Good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woon? I hardly feel it. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. Oh, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, 
I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. But see, we lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, hand you, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Jesus. <laughs> It's not a fun situation. Okay, we're awake again. Blood everywhere. Hanging you upside down that long, it's got to mess with you. As soon as your shackles to reach the metal file, this can be used to pick your lock. Swing left, swing right, swing left, grab the file, boom. Oh, there we go. Damn that skills. Oh. They're gonna do a bit of self surgery. Oh, great. It's like walking dead all over again. Oh, Jesus. Things are a lot of crap, aren't they? What's she still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Hmm. Can I use dead eye? So I'm going to do this real careful, like. So now we've got objectives to get our weapons, which of course we'll do anyway. Oh no you don't. Another one is to escape stealthily. What? Whoa! Okay. I don't know if that, that might have messed with my um uh, was I gonna say my not be detected thing. Just bullshit because I was aiming right eye. Where's my um Oh Still keep with our throwing knives just in case we didn't miss the objective. Okay. Got him. Try and clear as many of these fills as we can. Dear. 
Okay. I think we did about as good a job as we can do. So it's a bolt, I think. Uh, Barbara. That's that's not Barbara. That's Barbara. Come on, Barbara. Let's go. Um. So that was uh, that's a situation. Oh dear. He didn't see me somehow. Let's see where are we? Bloody hell, we're quite some distance, aren't we? Uh, do with crossing over the railway line. Which is underground, so it's kind of useful. Useless, I should say. Alright. Let's run our long road back. I think we're out of range of the Audrey schools. I think they're... Uh, Said camp now. But it's, that's their area. Okay. Bloody hell. He's. Uh, oh, oh, there he goes. Jeez Louise. It is not a good time to be Arthur Morgan, is it? Poor little bugger. Go on, Barbara. You know the way. We've been there enough times. He's definitely going to make it, but... Not exactly in a fit state, is he? I'm back. <laughs> Swanson's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Oh boy. That was an adventure. It's a deer. Hello, dear. I'm just gonna wake up all fan and dandy a few weeks later. Get up, starts all at the at the top, just no problems whatsoever. <laughs> I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Well, there we go. Arthur, you're in need of a shave. <laughs> okay, how do you do? Oh, we got gold. Awesome. That is really sweet. We already did that. That's quite a long one. Not as long as the last one, but... Cool. Well, I was spotted, but... You didn't live to tell the tale. <laughs> cool. Okay, and we got time to spare. I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. 
Oh, Molly doesn't seem happy. There we go. We need to give her a haircut as well at some point. Okie dokie. Uh, so yeah, there's the one in town, which is a short walk in a pretty town, uh, which, you know, if you know, you know. But we will be doing that till next week anyway, so it's no biggie. Uh, I'm going to head over to the Wapiti Indian Reservation. I don't know what would be the quickest way across. Would be the best place to fast travel to? Possibly Valentine. Um, yeah. But you'd have to sit through all of that, so I will see you when we arrive. Okay. Here we are at Wapiti. That one's okay with me being here. Obviously we can't use weapons, not that we're going to. But I think where I've set my marker... It's a bit bang on where the pamphlet should be, at least according to the map. And there's nothing else here. So. Should be. Yep, down there. Come down there, Arthur. Get Guamma up. And the dynamite arrow pamphlet. The large jewelry bag. Cool. And yeah, surprisingly enough, that is the only thing that's in this entire settlement. There's literally nothing else, no documents, no nothing. Um, so, we'll get on Barbara, we'll leave the area, and then we'll see if we can craft the remaining... Oh, we might actually be able to. I don't think I've got any feathers on me. Um, we'll have a look at it anyway, I think. Just head out of, out of the camp. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, can we? Yes, we can. Uh, so let's have a look at that dynamite arrow pamphlet so we can learn the recipe. We've got arrow, dynamite, stick, and a large feather. So we've, um, we should have all of those. Hmm. Let's see if we can craft. Now we need feathers. Um, okay, so I'm not going to do that yet, but you'll see that in the next hunting set. So if we come up about here, we should have an ancient tomahawk. Ah, I think that's it. It's weird that it's not uh, showing that on the on the map. It usually does. We've got an Asian tomahawk. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, if we head down near the eye, just about here, should have a dinosaur bone. Hey there, fella. Just take a nosy. Well, damn, that was an awkward one to find. <laughs> there we go. This cheeky one is hidden. Okay, um, fair enough, I've having trouble with this one. The exact location is just where I am here. So sort of between these two little formations, I guess you can, like a little curve there and then a little curve there. I don't know. That's, yeah, that was a, that was a tricky one. I seem to forget that you, know, you could just go into like your sort of survivor mode and actually see it shining because I was going around looking for it like with just my bare eyes just thinking like oh my god what the hell is this thing okay um around here should be a strange statues cave no idea what that means there's like a little bit of a puzzle to it or something like that See. Oh, off you go. But momentarily. Ah, here we go. Let there be light. Or not, you know. Just hold the lantern out with no light on. Don't really need it, I guess. Okay.
Right. So we can inspect the structure. Strange statues. So it says each statue has a certain number of fingers. You need to push the buttons on the statues that have that that have the number of figures two, three, five, and seven. Hang on. Do we just write that down? I wasn't paying attention. No. Uh, what it tells is two, three, five, seven. I get it. So that one has four. That has six. Excluding thumb, I assume. That has three. It's just got four. Three, four, five. Two. Okay, so we've got two, so let's push that one. Three, three. I think that's four. I think it is counting thumbs. That's five. This is that one. Wait, what? No, that's seven. Okay. That's three. I need five, which was this one. I need seven. Ah, that's cheeky. So one of the statues is missing a hand, as you can see at the back there, which obviously is five. Hang on, no it's not. Help, it's not. Three, okay, and then he's got the hand like that. It is four, which adds up to make seven. That is cheap. I'm just going around like so it hasn't like I'm sure of. I'm sure I'm not uh, messing that up. We got some gold bars. There's a one, and a two, and a three. I will take that happily. Fun dabby dozy. Uh, okay, I think that's probably where we need to wrap it up. It's a pretty nifty little little secret that the game's got there, isn't it? But rather productive episodes overall. Worked on challenges, worked on a mission. Uh, got the last pamphlet I need for survivalist. And also earned us some gold bars and a dinosaur bomb. Sweet. Right. Can you get a barrel, please? Oh, not, you know, that's fine. Okay, on Barbara. There we go. Bob's quite calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. Right. Uh, no, not player. Not to go to save. So, last time I finished on 52.5. Today we are on 52.8. Another 0.3% increase. Very nice. So, that's where we're going to end it for today. Next time, I will take us over to Strawberry, and we'll complete our first stagecoach robbery for that area. And then, we shall start working on some more collectibles. There's still a fair few bits. And not exactly in Strawberry, because we've cleared that area out already. But especially just to the north of it, there's a ton of like miscellaneous things, and Easter eggs, and shacks, and all that. So it's better for us to check out. But before we wrap up, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My five Pampus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three Pampus patrons in the description down below. And on screen, you'll see great to my one Pampus patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to help with the channel. So I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can follow the link in the description down below to my Patreon page. We don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a YouTube share, like, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 54. Everything changes. Bye guys.